Are you confused? If you're going to get a mortgage, who would you go with? What would you do? Do we have any questions from the floor for these guys? Do you want to say your first name and if you're with one of the companies or if you're with a startup or where you're from? Yeah, sure. Be just um, my name's Ivan. Um, I'm with Ysecure. Um, same team as Brad up there and Matt somewhere in the audience. So I'm the CTO. Um, because we deal um, in more the uh, B2B space, I see the numbers running past. I don't see the, uh, I guess, uh, the challenges to selling to the consumer. Um, although my partners are looking for a house at the moment, so that is a challenge we're going to have. And I almost feel like I want to see the four of you do a bit of a loan off to uh, a typical home loan because I've, uh, there's so much information and there's so much smoke and mirrors in this industry. I kind of, and I'm a numbers man, so I kind of want to go, right, these companies are offering these products and this is how much it will cost. So by using your products, how, what's the shortest path to get there? Mandy, why don't you start off? Sure. So I just want to get clarification on the shortest path. What, what do you mean by that? No. I don't want to spend a month evaluating every company, every bank out there. I have a loan with this criteria. Yep. Um, how do I either keep you on my list or tick you off or cross sure. you off um, based on my criteria? So I think the easiest part is you log on to www.hashching.com.au. Yeah. Uh, ignore the other ones for now. Because uh, you scrape data from all the other sites, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And if you use the new finance promo code, you get extra $100 cash back. That's another additional uh, you know, feature there. So, look, we are very transparent. Uh, we understand that what consumer goes through, and I went through the same thing. Like, you know, the thing that matters to me most is the features of the home loan. If you go on comparison side, whether you're with Westpac, CBA, all have the same, rate, uh, same product. So how do you differentiate? So it comes down to, firstly, the rate uh, that you want as your numbers man, same li um, like me, and also the features. So on our side, we clearly disclose to you these are the rates available and these are the features of each home loan. So before you make any decision, we do not capture any of your information. And as soon as you enter the information, then we connect you instantly to a broker uh, who can help you, and then also you get to fill out the other information. So that's, I hope that answers. Like, we, we very, like that's the shortest path that you can take. And you can get an unbiased um, answer from uh, the Clean. broker. Clean, what's that again? Yeah, so that's about, on our side, it's about 60 seconds. So for you to type in what you're looking for, I think it's basically the same for a lot of us, to tell you the truth. Um, but it's just understand your features. You can, you can compare and do it yourself. It's a really quick, simple process. But then it's the next step after that is when you fill in your full information, where enough for a, bro a broker on our back end to actually assess your detailed situation. Once we know that, it's another five, ten minutes so we can say, look, these are the three top products. These are the best fitting loans for you at the, the best rates that we can offer out of our panel. But the more we know about you and the quicker we know that information, that data about you, the quicker we can make decisions. Does that answer your question? Because, I mean, the short answer yeah, is you, 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 you go on. Short answer, 30 sec 60 seconds. Long answer, 20 minutes. You can skip the yeah. service, right? Yeah. But let's face it, there are so many comparison sites, so many other sites. I guess as the consumer, you're... I see the ease of use as being really important because I, I'm going to look at maybe 50 providers, comparison sites, whatever, and if you take more than a minute or two, yeah, Bang. so basically yeah. um, we're just as fast as any rate comparison site, but then the step after that, which you'd typically organise with the broker, uh, which you'd have to organise for them to come out, have an hour-long meeting, all that sort of stuff. So we're just as quick as a rate comparison site, but then that next step where you typically have to sit down with a bank manager or a mortgage broker, you can, as quick as you can fill in information, which is typically around 10 or 15 minutes, then that's all the work that you need to get done and we can then send something out. So much quicker than anything that's traditionally out there at the moment. Another question? Um, Simon Burke, mentor, Tyra Fintech Hub. Uh, and something, a little known fact, was that um, when I was 16 years old, I was the New South Wales road roller skating champion. Interesting. <laughs> okay, you heard it here first. <laughs> um, so FinTech is, I mean, the, the headlines um, are all about disruption and I think that's frankly completely overdone. But who are the losers out of your variety of models? You know, should anyone feel threatened? Should anyone be worried? Should a broker be worried? Should a 
mortgage provider be worried? Um, you know, just quickly across the, the five of you. Yeah, well, um, I'll answer this. I don't want to hold the mic too much, but um, I think there's been a few articles that have obviously come out about me, and this is one thing I didn't think that I was actually going to impact, and that was the aggregators in the market. So I thought, I'm create this awesome platform that creates huge amounts of value, bring volume through them, they make their clip. Why would they be so concerned? They've actually had a serious concern about me devaluing their proposition to the bank, because if I open it up where almost anyone can do it and then people start earning the commissions, them to be able to go to the bank and say, ask for more money, they feel that they're going to lose that value. Um, so it, for me, it's been both brokers have been uh, really concerned and aggregators have been my biggest hurdle, and I didn't think I was going to have that with aggregators. Who, who else has got an experience with disenfranchising people already in the market? Brandon? Well, um, not Lone Dolphin, because what, what we currently do is we, we use the existing channels to the advantage of the consumers, right? So we all know how eBay works, simple. So what we have created is our eBay, where the consumers are always empowered. So as a consumer, you'll spend three minutes in our platform, and at the end of the day, the experts like the mortgage brokers and the bankers can actually start fighting for you. And what does competition do? It drives the price down. So, you know, effectively, you don't do much at all in our platform. And, and to Simon's point, we, don't, we are not disrupting a market. We're basically empowering the consumers to make a more informed decision because, like Ivan said before, there are, there are 50, there's hundreds, there's thousands of offers out there. But you as a consumer need to make an informed decision. And we make it much more easy for everyone else. Are you disenfranchising anyone? Okay. Roughly um, anyone's feathers? So, so similar to Clint's model, we, we obviously offer, uh, operate on a very similar model, but the, cl the key is we target a specific niche of customers that want to self-service their loans. There are going to be customers out there that, that would want a, a broker to hold their hand through the whole process, but we're targeting that specific niche, first of all, so I don't think brokers should be too worried. The market's, you know, as you've seen, it's, it's a $1.3 trillion market, so there's a ton of commission out there. So. We don't think so, and if anything, we're adding extra compliance through the steps that you've seen on our platform. So again, we, we don't think we're sort of dissatisfying uh, or sort of trying to automate brokers out of a job. Um, okay, sorry, I'm probably a little bit biased. I'm not from Australia, so I'm, from, I'm from South Africa. So uh, my observation of the Australian property industry is quite jaundiced in that I think it's a lot more backward than the South African industry, which is a lot more sophisticated, yeah, believe it or not. So the, the question for me is, Disruption would mean, as far as I can understand it, is if I look at your platforms, what percentage of the current business is going to the existing top players and what percentage is going to the second tier players? In other words, have you been able to change the flow to the big banks or to the small banks? Because if you haven't, then it's not necessarily disruption, it's really just simplification. Sure, um, I'll answer that. 80% of the current loans are written back to the big four and 53% of them are actually from the mortgage brokers, but they have the highest rates. Um, so the rate that I showed you today, which is 3.52, which is not even the lowest rate that we currently have on bids, is actually not a major bank. It's a, it's a credit union, it's a sub tier two bank. So our model basically helps the consumers to find those because those credit unions and tier two banks are not able to advertise on the you know, Google AdWords, spend about 40 bucks on a click. So they use our platform to actually generate business, which is great for us. Uh, the biggest thing is that you make it, well, for us anyway, we make it really easy to compare the two. So say something like uh, Bank West, which is what you say, tier two, compared to um, Commonwealth, you can easily compare and say that you can, you can see that you're gonna save $200 a month. So it's just, making it more open and easy to find what are the better rates. And if the consumer is really after a cheaper rate, then it's, it's, it's easy to be done. But it's hard to, unless it's only just rate, to drive people towards the, um, the smaller banks because people still have this, yeah, like I just said, majority of loans still going with the major banks, even though they're still going, majority of loans are still going through brokers, people still seem to favour that bank that they already bank with or the ANZs. So it doesn't seem like it's just the rates that people are shopping for. Brad, you've been very quiet. Yeah. You're, uh, you've got uh, a different model to these guys. What, what's Very different, yeah. yeah. What's your view? So going back to the previous question, um, which was about disenfranchising certain parts of the market or brokers or whatever, um, whichever tier you're looking at, we like to think ourselves as cutting the fat. 
So we are enabling the existing model to be a lot more efficient and more robust and uh, more compliant. Um, and that's pretty much the way we're looking to add value to the end consumer by allowing them to have better rates, more competition, more products available to them. Uh, as to your question, um, we are just bolstering the existing structures, which means that uh, we, we streamline how the banks are currently working with existing aggregators and brokers, and we make the process a lot more efficient. Um, our ideal situation is that every single broker, every single aggregator would be utilizing our platform in order to provide a better value and experience to the end consumer, um, whether it is that they get there through you know, one of these platforms or uh, whatever, at some stage, an aggregator or a license or a bank is involved. And at those stages, we would be, we'd be there to make that process as timely and as efficient and as accurate and as compliant as possible. Guys, thank you very much. We might wrap it up there. Um, again, very grateful to you for doing that. Thank you also for answering questions. Would you thank them again?